how to train a cockapoo. A cockapoo is a cross between a poodle and a cocker spaniel, and she typically has characteristics of both breeds. Training methods vary, but the most effective approaches rely on her exceptional intelligence, her energy, and her strong desire to please you. In this video, you will learn everything about how to train a cockapoo, so make sure you watch till the end. And if you're looking for a new puppy for your family, Puppy Spot is the best place. Click on the links in the description to find out more about Puppy Spot. It's the combination of intelligence and enthusiasm to please that makes the cockapoo an active and capable dog. While basic obedience training can start from as young as 8 weeks of age, socialization should take priority for the critical period up to 4 months of age. Are cockapoos easy to train? Well, to answer this, you must take a look at its origin. The parent breeds of the cockapoo, cocker spaniel and poodle, are both widely accepted as some of the easiest dog breeds to train. Now, even though cockapoos have been around since the 1950s, the breed is not fully established on its own. It's still a crossbreed. This means that predicting the behavior traits of the breed as a whole are difficult. For each generation, each litter and each dog can differ greatly from one to the next in terms of physical traits, temperament and health. However, we will introduce you to some of the best methods and techniques to properly train a cockapoo. Teach your puppy his name. Teaching his name is the first thing you should do. When you say your puppy's name, look at him and move him towards you. Say your puppy's name in a calm, welcoming tone and reward him with a treat and praise him when he comes to you without hesitation. A physical gesture such as clapping your hands can also be effective. Once your cockapoo is responsive to its name, you can continue by teaching it other methods. Once he's mastered acknowledging his name when called, train your cockapoo to sit. If you have a young cockapoo breed, it is best if you're at its level when training. To teach your cockapoo puppy to sit, place a small treat in your hand and say the word sit. Put a treat by his nose and lift it slowly above his head. His bum will naturally go to the ground. Once its bum is on the ground, say the word sit. Give him the treat and praise him. Continue practicing this until he sits without needing the treat moved above his head. Many cockapoo owners find using a hand signal along with the verbal cue helpful. Next, teach your cockapoo puppy to stay. You can get him to sit, then say the word stay. Consider adding a hand signal such as holding your hand towards your puppy, palm up and repeating the word stay. Once he stays, you will want to move further and further away from him until he will stay even when you're out of sight. Then teach him a release word such as come once you want him to come out of the stay. Then teach your cockapoo puppy to lie down. You will get her to sit, then holding a treat in your fingers, move your hand towards the ground and out in front of the puppy. She will naturally move forward and her belly will touch the ground. Once this happens, say the words lie down. After she does that when you ask, you can add the command for stay into the training. Then she will stay in a down position until you use the release command. Potty training your cockapoo puppy. Potty training a cockapoo puppy is best done as early as possible. A dog or puppy can be potty trained, but the older your cockapoo is, the longer it may take. To begin to train a cockapoo puppy, you need to have a set schedule for going outdoors. This way he can do his business regularly. Also, pay attention to your puppy's cues. For example, if he starts circling, you need to take him out as soon as possible. Use positive reinforcement when potty training your cockapoo. When he successfully goes to the bathroom outdoors, reward him with a treat and praise. Having accidents in the house is part of having a puppy in the house. When you see your puppy has gone to the bathroom indoors but you don't see him go, calmly pick up the mess and throw it away. If you holler at your puppy for a mess he made when he was out of your sight, he won't quite know why you're angry. You do not want him to connect going to the bathroom with your anger or he will simply go in a place you can't see. When housebreaking your cockapoo puppy, keep these things in mind. Take him out regularly and frequently. When he wakes up before his meals and after his meals. 
A puppy can hold it for about an hour for each month of his age. For example, a five-month-old puppy should be able to go five hours without having to do his business. We urge you to take your puppy out more frequently though. Keep your puppy with you when you're house training. If you allow your puppy to wander the house, you won't be able to see him circling or asking to go out. If you're not certain how to train your cockapoo, call a local positive reinforcement trainer and sign up for a class. A puppy class can be a great first step in training your cockapoo. These classes are ideal for basic training and for introducing your puppy to others and helping socialize him. Training a cockapoo puppy or any puppy takes patience, kindness, and positive reinforcement. It's also a great way to build your bond with your puppy so you enjoy the time you spend together and your puppy will happily learn to do as you speak. Socialize your cockapoo puppy from the start. All puppies benefit from exposure to the world around them, learning not to fear new experiences. Enroll him in socialization classes to get exposure to other people and puppies. As cockapoos tend to be unfriendly towards strangers, this process will be extremely helpful in developing a well-mannered dog. As with any other dog, leash training is also a necessity for a cockapoo. This type of training focuses on teaching your dog to behave properly when on a leash. First, you need to introduce your puppy to a collar. Make sure that you can fit two fingers beneath the collar while it's on your puppy to make sure it fits properly. Once your cockapoo is used to its leash, you should do the following. If your dog tends to pull while you're walking, then get a harness for them. This is especially important for older, more stubborn dogs. The harness helps to train the dog not to pull. Before attaching any leash or harness onto your cockapoo, let them smell it to get used to what it is. Don't allow the dog to play with them though because they are not toys. Make sure to buy the right size leash. The size of your cockapoo will dictate this. Since there are three different sizes of cockapoos, the right leash differs between them. Lighter weight leashes made from nylon are fine for smaller dogs, but larger dogs need heavier leashes. Most people choose a length of six feet to give their dog sufficient room. Always reward good behavior. When your dog listens to you while outside on the leash, you can reward them with a treat. Practice walking for long periods. After letting your cockapoo get used to their leash during walks within your yard, you can take them on long walks and get them used to how to behave. Playing with your dog an often underestimated technique that works great with cockapoos. Anyone who has trained for an active sport like agility or flyball knows the value of using toys, games, and play in training. But toys, games, and play don't apply only to the sports-minded. Playing with your dog can be a powerful relationship-building tool, as well as a potent reward. Tugging and retrieving may be the most obvious play rewards, but playing games with your dog is limited only by your imagination. So, what do you think about the how to train a cockapoo? Let us know in the comments and share your experiences with other interested dog owners. And if you're looking for a new puppy for your family, Puppy Spot is the best place. They only qualify the highest quality breeders in the country and have already placed over 150,000 healthy puppies in loving homes. Click on the links in the description to find out more about Puppy Spot. And if you found this video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. Thank you so much for watching.